Hey everyone, so um, I've been watching a bunch of YouTube nail tutorials and nail art and co things about Konai plates and Shaney plates and MASH and Monster, Bundle Monster, um, and nail stamping. So I uh, slowly learning to get into it and I figured I should get some stuff that could actually get me started into this. I never knew that there was so much information out there about doing your nails. So. I, it was it was it floored me. So if you're expecting a card video, um, it's not going to be that today. It's just a little mini haul type video slash review and show and tell and uh, figuring out what I got um, to see if I can actually maybe replicate some of these things. So to start off, I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I picked up recently. All of this stuff was paid for by me. I ordered all of this actually through Amazon. Um, they have a great bunch of nail things that you can easily pick up for very little money. Um, but before I get into all the stuff that's here, <laughs> that's sitting here, I wanted to show you one thing I was really really looking forward to receiving and I got really disappointed. I was at, the, although Amazon's going to make this right. So I ordered the 24 piece uh, Shaney nail art uh, Cosmopolitan collection. If you notice here, you're starting to see something here. Yes, 18. Yes, it, you're, you are seeing something correct here. And I'm just going to double check this. And I haven't even unwrapped this yet. But 18 of the nail polishes that came in the Shaney kit are all the neon pink ones. I mean, you'll see it here, 04, 04, 04, 04. It's 18, 18 total. I, I was, like, I opened up the box, I was so ready to, to do this, and I, I was like, oh, oh, you're kidding me. I just thought this was, like, the funniest thing I've ever seen. I've never, have you ever seen anything like this? Like, have you ever seen anything like this? This is crazy. But anyway, Amazon uh, is going to make us right. And they're sending it out another one. It's just that these things have to get shipped out ground, and I have to wait a while, so I'm patient and I can do it. But there is actually a black polish in here, and I'm gonna try that out for some stamping. Um, I'm not expecting big things because this is not the nail art set, this is the nail polish set, so but I wanted to just that out. I just felt like sharing this. I was just like, how how does this happen? Moving on. <laughs> So, um, there was a YouTube, a YouTuber, or a YouTube nail art professional who basically, I, I can't recall, I've watched so many videos, like everybody's names are blurring into each other. A couple of them are standing out, but I don't know who exactly told, said that this was the best that thing to do. But these are the um, Fran Wilson ITs. They're precision makeup applicators. And they're pointy on one end and thick on the other end, instead of getting the nail ones that are just, I think, pointy on both sides. I couldn't find these anywhere locally, so I had to order them, and can't wait to try them out. Seshvit is readily available in my area, but this is not. This is the posh top coat, and I really wanted to try this. I've been experimenting, sorry, experimenting with some different top coats from very, very low end to like high end. So hopefully, this works as good as Seshvit. If not, I'm gonna do a comparison. I'll probably pick up a bottle of Seshvit. Um, probably like this week or next week anyway. So just to test out a comparison, but. I will compare it with to the OPI top coat and see if it's an improvement. This looks a lot liquider. Hang on, let me get this out of the box. This looks doesn't look really, really thick, actually. So it's it's pretty thin. This is Sephora by OPI top coat. And it looks like it's thicker than that. And I've used a lot of this. Um, not 100% satisfied with it, but okay. The next thing I got, I have the Sally Hansen cuticle remover, and it's kind of harsh out on my nails, and it's kind of like dried stuff out. It hasn't really conditioned. So I wanted to try this stuff, because it got good reviews. It was the Be Natural Cuticle Eliminator, um, and it's professional use only, all that other fun stuff. This is the stuff that I've seen manicurists use in the salon, so I wanted to give it a try. Okay, the next thing I wanted to get into, show you guys, is that I've seen both the Conad double-side stamp set 
in their scraper. And I've also seen this little one. And the reason why I got both of these, and this is actually, this is Shaney's kit right here. So it's a Shaney and it comes with a scraper, um, a plate holder, and a stamper. So, whoops. I'm gonna probably use this um, today, but from what I understand, this has got a way different diameter. It's a smaller diameter. And so just slightly. And so I wanted to see what would work, and I know that different images will probably require different sizes. So I just wanted to see which one I was most comfortable with. Um, I've seen videos that said, hey, this is superior, and I've seen videos that say, hey, this is superior. So I'm gonna see, I bet you it depends on the situation. And the two scrapers are very similar. So, so this looks like it was milled slightly better. And there's some plastic bleeding on here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see what which one I like on that end. And then of course there's the plate holder. Okay, um, I got the Shaney, woo, running away from me. Um, I got this Shaney, I think this is a 2003 set, um, so yeah, got that. Um, I think people have seen tons of videos showing what this looks like, so I'm not going to get into this so much right now. Um, maybe when I do some tests later with the Shaney polish, just to see what it is, with the differences between the two. Um, and then, of course, the Estonia. These are brand new. Um, and I'm going to go through that real quick. Hey, apologies for my nails, but I purposely left them a little wrecked because I wanted to test out these new plates that I just got from Amazon. Um, I ordered them. I didn't see that many reviews on them and I didn't see, um, hey, I don't think I saw any YouTube videos on it either, but hey. Um, but these are from Estonia. They're on Amazon. I'll put the link below of where you can get these um, and to test them out as well. Uh, so this is the Westonia nail stamping image plates and it's their first generation of doing the plates. Um, it's a 20 piece set. It says Westonia's first generation nail art stamping set consisting of, consists of 20 pieces of image plates with a total of 139 designs. So this is their first set. And I just wanted to give you guys my first impressions of these. I haven't removed backings or anything. Oh, good. They come with backings. Um, they come with backings and these feel a little sharp. Actually, yeah, they're kind of sharp. So this is um, plate 101. And this is like your typical animal skin plate. Three, which is sports. Sorry, I'm trying to like make sure I'm not getting the camera reflection in there, but at the same time, I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see this. This is some Earth Day, and there's some butterflies and flowers and stuff. 105. One oh six, one oh seven, one oh eight, one oh nine. This is one twelve, one thirteen, which is really neat. If any of you guys are stamping up people, 
look, wood grain and honeycombs and clouds. Honey, I love this plate. This is what this is the plate why. Sorry, this plate is the reason why I bought this set. Um, this just I really want to try out these images. Uh, this is one fourteen, and this looks like travel. This one's got. Uh, this is one fifteen. It's got a bunch of. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's got a penguin here. It's got some little, little cute characters. One sixteen. This is like Halloween. Sorry, my dog is like really trying to get my attention right now. <laughs> this is a uh, one seventeen. One eighteen. It's got an apple. I thought it was gonna be the Apple logo, but I guess not. Um, this is uh, one nineteen. And here's the last one coming up. It's one twenty. And I'm gonna do a test on this as well. And I'll be right back.